Hello, actuaries. Did you know that you can deploy your R models in Microsoft Excel? Hi, I'm Sam from examPA.net. I teach actuaries predictive analytics. Watch this video to find out how you can turn your linear predictive model into an Excel formula with only a few clicks. The only two things that you'll need are Microsoft Excel and R Studio. If you are completely new to R Studio, uh, you will just uh, will need to download it. I'll put the link in the description, and then uh, you'll need to install a few things. These are just uh, libraries, which are like containers that hold code that other people have already written. So uh, you'll go to this page and then copy this information, then open up R Studio. Now, uh, what you see here is just a blank screen. Um, I could type all of my file, all of my code into this console like this, but then I wouldn't have a way of rerunning it if I needed to. So instead, I'm going to create a notebook. Now, just like a physical notebook, where you can combine your notes and formulas together, our notebooks let you uh, put your text and your code together. So I'll just create uh, a new notebook like this, change the name to R to Excel example. Um, I'm just going to delete all of this generic code. And then I want to do uh, Control Alt I. That creates a new uh, code chunk. And then I'll just paste in this code here. If this is your first time running these, running these libraries, you'll need to do this first. Install packages, and then uh, the names of these packages. And then you use this uh, create workbook function. This is from the Open XLSX library, and it creates a virtual Excel spreadsheet. This is saved inside uh, the R Studio um, environment. So if you look here up in environment, if you see values, it says this is an object. If I look at the class of this object, I can see it's called a workbook. Um, so next I need to create my linear model. Um, now a linear model is just a way of combining input variables together into a predicted value, and it uses simple arithmetic uh, equations, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. The way that we'll create this model is just by using this code here. So we have uh, a target variable, which is a numeric value, and then we have two input variables. Uh, that is uh, the sepal width and petal length. So I'll just put this down below and then run these two codes. And then here's the output model. So the variables are the intercept here is negative 1.8. The coefficient on sepal width is 0 0.005. And the coefficient on this log of petal length is 1.4. So now I have this model in R. But how do I get it into the spreadsheet? Very easily. I simply use this add worksheet function. And I'll name that coefficients. And then I just want to take the uh, model and then uh, just tidy it. So the tidy function it turns the model output into an R data frame. Then I'll select the, the columns that I want. So term here, this first column, an estimate here. And then I use write data, and I'm writing to the Excel workbook, and the sheet is, is uh, coefficients. So I do this. I don't see anything because this is a virtual spreadsheet. And then write your worksheet like so. 
then you want to uh, go ahead and um, if you want to make your predictions to save the predictions from your model, you would do that like so. You'd say, I take the original iris data set, and then I say this predicted value is the predict, and I use the GLM object to do that. And then I use write data table uh, Excel predictions. And then I can verify that my results are correct. Actuaries are very keen on checking their results to make sure that there are no errors or inconsistencies. And so if, if you're using R uh, or you're using Excel, you need to be very careful that your results match. So the way that we'll do that is we'll save the workbook and then open it up in Microsoft Excel. So uh, here's what it looks like in Excel. So if we go to our uh, folder, we will see that this gets created. So here you can see the uh, Excel spreadsheet. So first of all, here are the intercept, here are the coefficients on the intercept and on the covariates. And if you look uh, on this other tab, these are the R predictions. So if I were to go you know, back to my R studio and uh, look at the sum, look at this GLM. I will see that these uh, estimates are the same. So negative 1.83, 0 0.05, 1.4 are right here. And then here you see the predictions that are made um, from R, right? So this is the predicted value for each of these records. Now, if I wanted to manually do this in Excel, I could. I would just uh, create a new column and I enter in this formula. So let's go over to Microsoft Excel and enter in that formula. Bam. And see that these values are exactly the same. That's because it's just a generalized linear model. And so it's just taking uh, this the exponent of this column plus, plus that one uh, multiplied times these appropriate coefficients. And so that is how you can translate your model from R into Excel quickly uh, using a just simple command line. If you benefited from watching this video, press that like button and be sure to subscribe so that you'll be notified as soon as we release more predictive analytics content.